This is our first skill for today, folks. Bigotry. What is it? If you can't spot bigotry, you can't combat it. And I'll hear this from, uh, oh, I hear this from managers and employees all the time and students and all kinds of folks. I'll hear this, ah, you know, bigotry, that's a slippery thing. That's a slippery thing, isn't it? I mean, it's subtle. Bigotry is subtle. You know, it's hard to spot, right? Oh, horse hockey, it is not. It's easy. We just think we're slick. Bigotry is whenever I objectify you. Objectify you. All those people are the same. You know, all those people are hillbillies. Boy, all those people are cheap. Those people are drunks. You know, those people sure are stupid. Boy, those people are nothing but animals. All those people. Always, when I say always, you're always wrong. Always, when you say always, you're always wrong. I can't consider you as a group of people when I'm talking to you as an individual, you see? Do we do this? Do we look at somebody that is different than us and we, we objectify them? Because you understand that if I objectify you, you're not a human being to me anymore, are you? You're just all those people. All, you're just a dog. You're just an animal. And so you know what? I can treat you with utter disrespect and I don't care about your feelings. Why? Because you don't have any feelings. You're just an animal. You're just an object, right? Anybody ever go to Walmart? Ah, yeah, okay. Uh, how many people make the mistake of going to Walmart on a Saturday like I do? Okay, you know what's Walmart like on a Saturday. Oh, busy. You can't get through. And I'm there a couple, three years ago. I'm there uh, checking out. I got my wife and my kids, and it's just, oh, the lines are just ridiculous. And, and so we're standing there. We got all of our stuff. And, and of course, the, the cashiers are in a big hurry to get you out. Right? I mean, they're so excited and motivated to be there, and you know, oh, I, I swear, some of them, half of them, are still hung over, right, from the night before. It's like, oh, okay, check them out, you know, just get you through. Isn't that it? Except I am lucky enough to be in a line where we're moving. What's my goal? I'm in line at Walmart. What's my goal? To get out. And I look up here, and I'm like, oh, I want to see who, uh, I want to see who's checking me out. So I. I look up here, who's, who's my cashier? And there's this guy up there, and he's got to bounce to a step, and he's, he's talking to people, and he's whipping people through. Hey, is this a good cashier? Yeah, boy, we're moving. And then we get a little closer, and I look at him, and I see his nails are perfectly manicured. They're just perfect. My wife's nails never look this good, okay? And then I look a little closer, and his eyebrows are perfectly sculpted. And he has on eyeshadow and eyeliner. Hair's kind of long. And I'm like, oh, he's a cross-dresser, <laughs> okay? Oh, oh, this is just like too easy. And people that know me know I'm a smart aleck, okay? So it's not like I'm going to have some smart aleck thing to say. It's a question of just which one I'm going to say first, right? And so I, I, I turn to my wife, and I've got this, you know, something to say. And I'm sure it's going to be funny. And then I stop and look, and we're moving. And I start thinking, you know, this guy's getting me out of here. And I look at the other people, half of them look like they're brain dead, and they don't want to be there. This is the best they got. Do you think Walmart would like to have 15 more just like this guy? Yeah. You see, if he's just an object, we say something and insult him. If I say something and insult him, what's he going to do? He might slow down. And, and even more than that, is that going to affect his feelings? Is he a human being or just some transvestite? For the first time ever, probably in my life, I kept my mouth shut. That's hard for me to do, too, let me tell you. It's like, you know, this guy's getting me through. This is the best they got. You know, that's what this program is designed to do. We do this, don't we? We do this. We look at people like objects. And the dangerous part of this is we get three murders a day. We get a million assaults in the workplace every year. And more than that, just to insult you, I can kill you. I can kill you because you don't mean anything to me. Do you think that Tom West got in his car, drove all the way up to Westchester, Ohio, and shot and killed two people? 
Did you think he meant to go up there and kill people? Or did he drive all the way up there to kill all those Watkins people? You see, they're not even human beings to him. 